Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Sega games of all time. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. For this list, we'll be looking at the best games developed and published by Sega and its development teams. For the sake of diversity, each franchise will be limited to a single game. Which is the best Sega game ever? Let us know in the comments. Before we continue, we'll be doing a deep dive on this list's number one entry over on Mojo Plays, so be sure to check it out once you've finished watching. Number 20. The House of the Dead This release, alongside Resident Evil, helped put the undead on the gaming map. A classic zombie game, The House of the Dead will also forever be a staple of arcades everywhere. The light gun shooter delivered fast and challenging action as well as great visuals, especially the arcade version. It also offered a more in-depth storyline than this type of game typically gets. As a rail shooter built upon the foundations set by Virtua Cop, The House of the Dead is just a consistently fun game, regardless of whether it's played in arcades or on the Sega Saturn. I guess everything's over. I guess so. Shall we go now? Number 19. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Good morning! Sonic Team may be named after the Blue Blur, but the developer has envisioned many unique worlds and IPs. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg is a delightful platformer with an unapologetically bizarre storyline and gameplay that, if nothing else, tries something different. Although a traditional 3D platformer in many ways, Billy Hatcher throws out a unique mechanic that revolves around pushing and hatching eggs. Released after Sega left the console market, Billy Hatcher proved that the company still had a lot to offer besides the occasional Sonic the Hedgehog game. Number 18, Outrun. Checkpoint. When it comes to driving games, few titles are as influential as Sega's Outrun. The 1986 racer brought an element of freedom to arcades that was unprecedented at the time. Players step behind the wheel of a Ferrari and head out on a high-octane journey that prioritizes choice, as each stage ends by providing an option to select one of two roads. With five possible endings and a whole lot of scenery to experience, OutRun was the first racer to really capture that feeling of hitting the open road just for the sake of driving. Number 17, Valkyria Chronicles. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin. Visually gorgeous and narratively dense, Valkyria Chronicles is an RPG like no other. Set in a world torn apart by a war between two superpowers fighting over a limited resource, Valkyria Chronicles expertly tells a story filled with political intrigue and, more importantly, interesting characters. The story complements the intense action, as players control Squad 7 soldiers in battles where every move counts. Valkyria Chronicles blends strategic gameplay with more immediate third-person shooter elements, creating an experience that manages to be tactical and also cinematic. Sega has developed plenty of great JRPGs over the decades, but Valkyria Chronicles ranks among the company's best. Number 16, Rez. Sega and rail shooters are just a match made in heaven. Rez is pretty much the stereotypical rail shooter when it comes to its simple targeted gameplay, however the game enhances its fundamentals through music and visuals. When you destroy enemies, additional sounds are layered upon the already memorable music. As the player progresses through the game, the levels build upon each other to create a truly awesome symphony. Such trippy music demands visuals that are also out of this world, something Rez attains by blending polygons and wireframe models. Regardless of the console or version, Rez is a must-play. Number 15, Super Monkey Ball 2. 
In 2001, with the Dreamcast discontinued, Sega released Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube and put to bed any fears the company would lose steam as a developer. A year later, Super Monkey Ball 2 came out and improved upon the original with a story mode and even more party games. Though the core gameplay remains as simple as ever, Super Monkey Ball 2's intricate and creative stages make sure a playthrough is never boring or easy. Super Monkey Ball has produced its fair share of great games, but the second entry set a standard that few franchises can hope to match. Number 14. Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master Debuting in arcades before making the jump to consoles and producing the awesome The Revenge of Shinobi, Sega's ninja-themed franchise peaked with its third entry. Along with expanding Joe Musashi's moveset, Shinobi 3 is a surprisingly cinematic romp, one that makes impressive use of the Sega Genesis's capabilities. As great as the visuals are, Shinobi 3 also delivers in the gameplay department without feeling the need to pad out the campaign with an overly punishing difficulty. Shinobi 3 has aged incredibly well since its initial release and still ranks as one of the best ninja games ever. Number 13. Panzer Dragoon Saga Stepping away from the franchise's rail shooter roots, Panzer Dragoon Saga is an RPG with ambition, depth, and creativity to spare. Underpinned by a complex story that expands upon previous games, Saga makes full use of the character-driven interactions synonymous with RPGs. Panzer Dragoon Saga really immerses players in a world brimming with personality, conflict, and intrigue. Not happy with sticking to convention, however, the battle system enhances turn-based combat with real-time movement that adds a strategic component to landing and avoiding attacks. The dragon can also transform, which is just super cool. Number 12, Virtua Fighter 2. When it comes to 3D fighting games, Virtua Fighter 2 is historic. Sega produced something special with 1993's Virtua Fighter, a 3D fighting game released during a time when they simply did not exist. While the original flirted with greatness, Virtua Fighter 2 defined the term for its genre. Featuring a well-balanced roster inspired by real-world martial arts, Virtua Fighter 2 looks fantastic, plays brilliantly, and strikes the right balance between accessibility and complexity. The arcade version is arguably the best, but Virtua Fighter 2 transitioned beautifully to the Sega Saturn in 1995 and took the console market by storm. Number 11, Golden Axe. With muscles for days and all the fantasy tropes one could hope for, Golden Axe very much feels like a game that came out during the late 80s. A success in arcades and on home consoles, Golden Axe stood out among beat-em-ups thanks to its sword and sorcery aesthetic and diverse roster of playable characters. Guaranteed to deliver a good time when played with a friend, Golden Axe's environments and brilliant soundtrack added to the feel that players are on a grand adventure filled with skeletons, dragons, and chicken legs. Number 10, Shenmue 2. You can always stay there for free. You are so kind. As the successor to the trailblazer that was 1999's Shenmue, Sega's sequel improved and expanded upon the first game's innovative foundations. An open-world game that predated Grand Theft Auto 3, Shenmue 2 continued Ryo Hazuki's quest to track down his father's killer. Shenmue 2 is a perfect sequel, a title that retains the core appeal of the first game while enhancing its strengths and reducing its frustrations. Whether you're exploring Hong Kong or China's Gui Lin, Shenmue 2 presents a world brimming with life and ensures that players feel as though they are part of it. If I were the person upon whom you sought revenge, you'd already be dead. Number 9. Nights into Dreams The Sega Saturn notoriously lacked its own big hedgehog-themed console seller, but that does not mean that Sonic Team skipped the generation. Nights into Dreams is a breathtaking game that follows two children into a dream world where they take on its evil ruler, Wiseman the Wicked. Here they also meet Knights, a nightmarin who becomes their ally. Each of the seven stages showcases Sonic Team's impeccable talent for crafting mesmerizing and imaginative environments. 
The platforming sections with the children are fine, but the gameplay truly shines when Knights takes to the skies in flight sections that are as liberating as they are fun to play. Number 8. Jet Set Radio The Dreamcast was the console for weird and ambitious games, and Jet Set Radio has aged far better than most titles of its era. Set in a colorful version of Tokyo overrun by gangs obsessed with graffiti, Jet Set Radio delivers arcadey extreme sports gameplay backed by an awesome soundtrack and stunning cel-shaded graphics. The timed levels can be pretty challenging, but that only provides more opportunity to appreciate Smilebit's Tokyo Toe. Even though it was not a massive hit at the time, Jet Set Radio left a lasting impression on gamers with its quirky personality and refusal to adhere to the status quo. Number 7. Shining Force 2 On a system that had quite a few noteworthy RPGs, Shining Force 2 still stood out as something special. Surpassing the high standards set by the original Shining Force, the sequel delivers a bigger and more refined campaign. The story, which involves a besieged kingdom and plenty of demons, is an epic adventure filled with NPCs, recruitable units, and detailed areas designed with exploration in mind. As far as its grid-based battles are concerned, Shining Force 2 pairs solid turn-based combat with a heavy emphasis on group cohesion, character progression, and tactics. Nuance. Number 6. Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 The Dreamcast brought online gaming to consoles. After testing the waters with Choo Choo Rocket, Sonic Team went full RPG with Fantasy Star Online, and the outcome was nothing short of glorious. For the first time, console players could form online teams to take on quests, explore sprawling fantasy-esque environments, and defeat bosses. Episode 1 and 2 took the already brilliant Fantasy Star Online experience and added plenty of content, making the adventure that much better. Fantasy Star Online demonstrated that the potential of consoles was unlimited. Even as online RPGs became commonplace, Sega's game remained an impressive work of art. Number 5. Crazy Taxi <laughs> Who knew that driving a taxi could be so much fun? Debuting in arcades and excelling on the Dreamcast, Crazy Taxi took the colorful insanity that defined many late 90s Sega games and removed the limiters. The whole game revolves around the simple goal of chauffeuring customers from one point to the next, with reckless but controlled driving resulting in more cash. Fueled by a punk rock soundtrack and playing out across various vibrant stages, Crazy Taxi unapologetically embraces its wacky premise to create an experience that is hard to put down. Number 4. Streets of Rage 2 During an era when beat-em-ups lined arcades, Streets of Rage 2 stood as perhaps the genre's most complete package. With the streets once again overrun by Mr. X's goons, four heroes set out on a rampage that will encompass the entire city. Beat-em-ups are known for being relatively straightforward yet gut-bustingly hard, but Streets of Rage 2 is by no means a shallow game. Completing the game's eight stages requires mastering the robust movesets of the characters, and the enemies are far from incompetent. The satisfying combat is accompanied by a flawless soundtrack and fantastic environments. Number 3. Yakuza 0 Whether weaving an epic gangster tale spanning multiple games or unleashing a zombie outbreak, Sega's Yakuza franchise always dances to its own beat. As a prequel to the main series, Yakuza 0 is the ideal entry point for newcomers to the franchise. Not only does it tell a gripping and unpredictable story featuring two extremely likable playable characters, but Yakuza 0 also finds time for bizarre side quests, fun minigames, and a couple of nods to Sega's history. At any given point, Yakuza 0 can be devastating, hilarious, absurd, or cool all in the same scene. Yes. Number 2. Skies of Arcadia
The Dreamcast did not have many JRPGs to its name, but Sega made everyone count. A vast RPG set in a world overflowing with characters, secrets, and rich history. Skies of Arcadia exudes a joyous energy that echoes the adventurous nature of the air pirate heroes. The main quest is to find the moon crystals before they fall into the hands of the evil Valua Empire. While this is what drives the story, it's the sense of discovery and the consistently great personalities that show up in this world that makes Skies of Arcadia unforgettable. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Although Sega had released countless fantastic games before 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog put the brand on the map as a console manufacturer. As a sequel to such an iconic game, Sonic 2 had to deliver more of the same, only better, and Sega did not disappoint. The introduction of the Spin Dash move was a game changer for Sega's franchise, and Sonic 2 featured some of the best designed levels in gaming history. The sprite work is excellent, the environments are varied and eye-catching, and the soundtrack ranks highly among the franchise's many masterpieces. Sonic 2 is Sega at its best. If you want to know why we chose our number one pick for this list, head over to Mojo Plays and watch our in-depth analysis of the entry. Check the link in the description below.